Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, everybody. This is Will with Gaming on the Side. Uh, so as you can see, it is starting to get dark, so let us immediately head to the lighthouse and speak with the astrologer before it gets a little too late. And let's give him the diary. Oh, great, great. How many important things there must be in this book? Amazing. Ooh, a silver oh, quality oh, story. Oh, oh. I haven't felt so alive for a long time. So how can I open the portal on Witch Hill? Uh, oh, I Let know. me see. You need to craft a spirit laser. But I don't know what a laser is. Sorry, I do. Oh, I it should be crafted on the pedestal in front of the portal. Hmm. I you need to craft it in two parts, an emitter and a barrel. And here we have three parts of the emitter. A mirror of pride, an eternal burning coal, and a salty fork. The bishop, the inquisitor, and the merchant. And where can I find that stuff? He wrote that his friends believed that all of these things could be found in the town. Hmm. I don't understand this, but he wrote that they were the soul of the town. It all sounds like a delusion to me. Magic! <laughs> what nonsense. I'm about to make zombies. If I were you, I'd start with something you can see first. First, I'd check the pedestal near the portal. Second, try to get to the town and find those items. Oh, there's more to the game than just this area. And how about the second part? The second part of the text is covered with something sticky. I'll need to clean it off first. Jerry, why would you do that to that book? I think I'll need some acid and restoration tools to clean it. Acid and restoration tools. Create acid. Uh, so about that acid. Do you know where I can find any acid? I gave up alchemy many years ago. It's really a dead-end occupation. But I think I know where you can get some acid. There should be an old woman in the swamp. She's definitely crazy, but in the distant past, she sold chemical ingredients. And the restoration tools? An old woman in a swamp. So I keep hearing about this swamp, and I'm guessing it's not just a little area that I have above me. Maybe it's across that bridge that I gotta fix. Do you happen to know where I can find some restoration tools? There may be a... There, we may have a problem, young man. The Inquisition destroyed them all. Fools that they are. They believe that they can... They believe that past can only bring harm and curses. But I think you might still be able to make some on the... Or find some on the black market. Someone with criminal connections could help you. That's probably Snake. I definitely know the right guy. <laughs> yep, definitely Snake. I should talk to Snake. <laughs> yep. Okay, and now he is at 20, but we still need to get him to 40, so I need to get the acid and the restoration tools before I can even continue on with the vampires. All right, what's, what do you have to trade for right now? Oh, right, uh, I did buy, what did I buy? I know about something. Oh, right, I bought some, uh, I think it was the white fish fillets that I bought. Uh, because I finally figured out how to fish in this game. And unlike what the bishop told us, you can acquire them not just by the 
damnable waterfall, which made my ears bleed. Uh, because I kept going over there thinking that I could fish and then remembering that it's on the other side. Um, why am I walking? Back to the sweet home. But, uh, you can actually catch some over by the, uh, the refugee area. So I've got three here, but I've got four in the chest over by the church. Or maybe it's in the cellar. I can't remember. But regardless, I now have white fish fillets, but I can only make one thing with them. And that's baked fish, and I can only make two. Well, technically four, but you get what I mean. And for fish nuggets, which would take only one of the white meat, I would need two oil a piece. Wait. Wait a minute. Can I? Son of a... Okay, I'm stupid. Also, uh, I did play for a little bit, mainly just to transport some iron down here from the, uh, the quarry, and to get some more uh, logs and whatnot, but really and truly, I haven't really done much else. I've got coal, and I did one little piece of iron, because I brought uh, one too many pieces back. But honestly, that's it. So I'm going to put this downstairs in the cellar with the rest of the stories. And then we're finally going to go and plant these seeds because I realized as I was editing that, you know, I... Not here, over here. I realized that I dug the uh, the plots, and then I did absolutely nothing with them. So, you know, there's me, being smart, as usual, you know. Super smart, super useful, it's, it's amazing, really. Alrighty, so, let's plant the carrot seed, plant the carrot seed, plant the beet seeds, and then plant all of the cabbage. And then we just leave them to wait. So, the combat is harder here than in Stardew Valley, but the uh, the farming, significantly easier. I don't have to water the crops. Uh, you know what? It is coming up on Sunday, so I suppose let's, uh, let's get ready for a sermon, shall we? I'd like to at least be prepared once. Uh, you know what? No. I truly want to be prepared. It's early enough. I want to get as much faith as I can. Right. Incense burner and stuff. Uh, I can make incense... Theology. The smell of fate. Church workbench. Let's go down there real quick because I really want to get as much faith as I possibly can. Oh right, I need freshener and I can only do that at the alchemy workbench.
I have beeswax, I can get fat, but I would have to go all the way over to town to get the hemp rope. Alright, well, you know what? Let us... Let's do that. Let's go all the way to the dead horse. And let's go and talk with Dig real quick, and let's see if we can afford a small piece of hemp and rope. That way I can at least make one candle for all of my candle operas. Because it gives four, and at least I think it said four per craft. Yes, yes, ding dong, bing bang bong, dig I am, am I. Trade. Yeah, in fact, I can get... Oh, Ooh, you sneaky little... All right, all right. Now let's go back to Sweet Home. Pick up the last of my fish nuggies. Get all of my beeswax. Is there any in here? No. Is there any in here? No. I still need the fat. William, you are a buffoon. Human fat to make candles. You know, believe it or not, they kind of did this for a long time. Like, I'm not even joking, I wish I was, but before, when pig fat and stuff like that was running low, they would make it out of human fat. Like, it's disturbing, yes, but... I mean, it worked. Also, I've noticed that uh, we get... Uh, I just noticed the blue pips that we got there. Uh, we get, oh, what's it called? We get the spiritual points from, uh, not just, we got them from making the candles, but we also get them from making the conical flasks. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let's see. I'd like to say a few words as the cult walks in. Our church is great. Nice. Two faith. And now let us play, pray for this blessing. Ta-da! Everybody says okay or nice and I get another two faith. Donations are welcome. Probably another 60 or so copper. And great sermon, as always. The cult says as they walk out, understanding more about their... I don't know. Eventually, I'm actually going to have a theory on how they are a cult. Like, how they are an actual cult. Until I figure it out, though. I can't say too much. And, while we are on the topic of cults and whatnot, uh, I have plenty of stuff to actually be able to unlock. But, one of the things that I was looking at, where were you? No. Maybe no. building? Yes. Building. Stone carving. I can now get polished brick of stone, which is good for a couple of things. One, I can build the incense burner finally. Even though I can't build any incense at the moment, I can still make it, and that will raise the church quality. Also, the graveyard quality, 
there's a, uh, a thing that I can build outside that will increase the graveyard by 17 points by itself. I think it was 17. It may have been 12, but I'm pretty sure it was 17. So I'm actually going to buy this. Because I don't know what this is used for, but I know what a couple of these are used for. And I will have to destroy our stone cutter and build the stone cutter too. Let's unlock it. Woodcutter, you know how to use an axe. Chopping a small tree will give you an additional log. Also, you can make more firewood and wedges from log chunks, or otherwise known as billets. I was actually watching a show the other day, and, uh... Ooh, I can finally get the, uh, the Gentle Butcher as well. But let's see if there's anything else that we want first. No, no. Zombie logistics doesn't take any blue. Do you take any green? Yes, you do. Five. So, so long as we don't go under five. Hmm. Lawns. Wooden prayer station. Inventing stories. Master Gatherer. Not only can I get the Super Mushroom, which can make a very special dish, or it might kill me. Lovely. But I'll also get a perk. You love nature, and nature loves you back. You can gather more resources from small plants. That's not bad. Ooh, Befriend. You've been bitten and stung. You've been bitten by... You have been bitten so many times that bees can't even damage you anymore. That would be huge for collecting honey. Since you have enough time to collect more honey from the beehive. And that's right after bee domestication. The beehive, I think, by the way, I found where we're actually able to make those. Which is pretty nice. But I think I actually have to buy the permissions to actually use the place. Or I could get woodcutter. Logs and whatnot aren't really all that hard for me to come by right now, so I'm honestly not even worried about that. Oh, and gathering big tree felling. Regardless, I honestly think that gentle butcher would be the best thing overall, because I know I said I'm going to burn all of the bodies, but... I mean, what's the point of a graveyard without any graves, you know? Oh, actually, I can't actually scoff this off for a little bit because I don't have any carrots, and I now need carrots to get bodies. It sounds so odd to say that. Oh well. So yeah, actually, I'm... I don't think I am going to get this. I might get it in the future whenever I'm trying to like make the perfect graveyard, but you know, not now. So yeah, let's uh, no, 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 cancel. Stop that. How dare you? How dare you turn on me? Stained glass window, candelabra 2, which will probably up the amount of church quality. Well, regardless, let's, uh... I'll probably need pen and ink before I can do anything with this, because I need pen and ink to do any of these. So you know what? Let's get Master Gatherer, because I do gather a lot of stuff. And there we are. And I don't think that I have enough for literally anything else. Pardon me, that was a yawn. 
I'll uh, I'll try and edit that out. Alrighty, do I have anything unnecessary in my inventory? No, it does not seem so. Do you also give back health? No, just energy. Oh, you also make it to where I don't miss fish nearly as much. Okay, interesting. I do need to put these away and... Yeah, how much is it for a trunk? That's boring. You don't even tell me. Four fledged, four nails, three simple iron parts. Okay, I'm going to gather that because... Honestly, I... Oh, wow. A lot of you guys finished off. So let's put in here so yeah we're up to 24 out of the 30 I think yeah and that took like 60 or 70 glass panes it was kind of ridiculous all right so I have nails I have fletch I have no simple iron parts but let me make up a few of those because I really, really just need to get a, uh, a thing down there at our little garden. Because I need a place to store the stuff. I can't be bothered to have all of the seeds and the crop waste and everything else. And you work right there. Awesome. So here's the crap waste. Here's the sticks because there are some things that are like, hey, here's a thing with sticks. And I don't know what grows on that, but apparently that's going to be important at some point. Uh, also, let's gather some mushrooms and see how much we get out of this because, hey, that's two per gather now. That's not bad. Because before that was one. How about the berries? That was three per gather. That's four. Hey, it may not be much, but it's something, and that will add up. Alright, is there anything else that I really want to do right now? Is there anything that I can do at the moment? Because I have these, which is great, but I don't know how to make the ink itself. In fact, I'm going to check that real quick, and I will check right back in with you guys. Okay, so I have figured out what I'm going to be doing because I cannot make ink because I need black paint and I can't make black paint without the alchemy table. So what I'm going to do instead is I am going to make some zombie friends. At least, at least one because I don't know how much zombie juice is needed for all three zombies or for each zombie. So, since I have three zombie juice, I'm hoping for three zombies, but I don't know. Anyhow, aside from that, the only way for me to get zombies is if I have a corpse. And the only way for me to get corpses is if I have carrots. So, for the time being, I... Before I end this episode, I will have made at least one zombie. So, I am going to put this video on pause for just a little bit, and I'm going to wait for those crops to grow. And I'm probably going to grow a f quite a few crops. That way I've got plenty enough for the merchant as well. But then I'm going to put an, a literal metric load of carrots into that damnable box, and I will get more corpses. So, until that point, I will see you for me 
it'll be quite a bit. For you, it'll be just a split second. Okay, so just a quick update. Yeah, it was 12, not 17. But yeah, uh, a stone column... Uh, col columbarium? I think, since it takes ceramic funeral urns, I'm assuming that's kind of like a pedestal where you would put the cremated remains of your loved ones. Uh, unfortunately, I've mixed all of the ash together downstairs in the in the book in you know the bookshelf area and the scroll shelf or whatever it is. So uh, hopefully, all of you know. Hopefully, I get a whole person into one, and you know they're not mixed in between like two hundred different of these things. You know how it goes. Okay, we're not quite. Uh, ready and perfect yet. However, I did get now. I did get one batch of crops done, and so here is our first test subject. So I shall remove his blood, which we have seen will remove a, re or rather, will convert a red skull to. Never mind. Never mind. Get it up. And I used up all my fish sticks. Okay. Screw you, game. I can simply sleep. And since I won't be able to turn this person into a, uh, you know, the, the highest white skulls that I can, uh, I guess I'll just take everything. Uh-oh. Sorry, that was my mother calling, and because I was a dingus and did not uh, pause my game, I almost didn't do my uh, priorly duties. Let's grab two of those and this. I don't even know if this is really worth doing right now because I'm already getting the max uh, thing that I can from it, but it just feels nice. I'd like to say a few words to the cult. Our church is great. Now what do you say? Ah, two of you. Now let us pay for this bread. Yes, you know what? Let us pay for this blessing. Give your faith. <laughs> your donations are welcome. And Great Sermon says the lot of them. It really is cult-like behavior. You're giving me your faith and your money, and you're not questioning anything that I say. That puts us up to nine faith. Youtuber here, folks. Professional YouTuber. Uh, what should we study? Oh, right. I did make a piece of a uh, polished brick stone. You guys remember our our little stone get our little stone cutter area, right? Yeah, this is him now. Let's, uh, let's see. So, the brain gave us, like, 50. Let's see what the heart gives us. Can be decomposed into essence. Another 50. And the intestines? Hmm? Can be decomposed into powder. Yet another 50. And we can do, it looks like, at least three more. Well, actually, no. One more, because now we're taking a look at the zombie juice. What can you do? It can be decomposed into nothing. But I earned a little bit from, uh, for both spiritual and the rest. I'm gonna leave this stuff here at least for now, because apparently I can do things with them? 
I just don't know how yet. <laughs> oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Back to the morgue. We still have plans for you. I want a zombie, damn it. And with... Oh, because you started writing a little bit. You know what? Yeah, let's let's extract your sin shard. I've actually never really paid attention to what that did, if anything at all, and I don't think that it does. I honestly don't know what it... I don't know what it does. Oh, and let's remove the skull, because eventually, for the sacrifice area, I noticed when uh, I was going around that, uh... And for pig skin, of course, human skin... Uh, I could make skulls on the walls and a skull column, and yeah, I'd, I'd like to, uh, to work with some of that. Maybe. I mean, we're going to have to anyways. And I wonder if I can get, like, a mill or something where I can, like, grind up the bones to use for, like, fertilizer for the garden. Like, that would be absolutely insane. But, I mean, it would work. So we have I'll be right back and we're back. So let us take literally everything out of this man. He has no bones, no skull, no intestines, no heart, no brain. No skin, no flesh, no fat and blood. What is left in in this? I'm genuinely curious now. Let's take the body, but regardless of, you know, there's nothing here. What do we need? We need ten faith. <laughs> okay, I lied. I have to end this video. I have to get something out. I'll see you guys back in the next video when I have some more faith. I'm going to play off camera for a little bit and just uh, collect up some some bodies and maybe uh, collect up some silver and whatnot because it seems that money and food are honestly our, our biggest issues. So, I want to, you know, have everything set up and prepped for us for next time. So, when we come back, there will be a lot of differences. I hope that's not too big of an issue, but I'd rather start really progressing in the game instead of being held back by all of these small things, you know? So, until then... I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all later.